Hey guys, Mike here with StoneCoatCountertops.com. How do you properly mix epoxy? In this video, we show you how right now. Epoxy is easy as one, two, three. Let's dive into it. Our epoxy rocks, Stone Coat Countertops. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Mixing epoxy is simple. This is how we do it. When we follow these easy steps, you get consistent results. You know your project's gonna finish like a pro. What we're gonna do is start with part B, we'll pour that in first, and then we'll finish with part A. That's as simple as that. Okay, part A is a lot more thick, and so it's a good idea to put it in front of a space heater if it's winter time and make sure it's nice and viscous so it comes out of the bottle good for you. Another key pro tip is get your temperature up in your work environment. I like to be between 70 and 80 degrees. That's the sweet spot. Get your temperature there and you're gonna get consistent results. All right, what we're gonna use is our simple mixing paddle. We don't really wash this off or clean it after use. It just grows these little stalactites that actually help it mix a little better. So let's get in here and mix this up. We're gonna do it for two minutes, and then we know we'll be ready to start our project. Another pro tip is to hold your bucket. When you go ahead and mix this, if you hold the bucket, your drill won't overcome the bucket, okay? So you're not gonna spray epoxy everywhere because this is thick. When you start mixing full speed with the drill, if you don't have a good handhold, you could wear epoxy. Another key pro tip is to scrape the bottom and the sides of your bucket using your drill attachment. So I'm gonna slow my mixing down so I don't crack my bucket, and I'm just gonna rub the bottom and the sides of my bucket so that I get everything that might want to be sticking and clinging to the sides and it gets mixed properly as well. For the majority of our mixing, all we're gonna do is hover that drill attachment up slightly from the bottom of our surface. We can go full speed, we can mix our materials, but when we do the bottom and the sides, slow it down and scrape those nice and carefully. Okay, we're done mixing. Now it's time to get our material on the surface in one large mass. Why do we do that? Because then we remix it on the surface of our project using our square notch trowel. All of our videos, you'll see, we follow those steps and we know at the end, when everything's dry, we're gonna have a consistent hard finish, blemish free and no sticky spots. Whether you're doing countertops, art, woodworking, hearths, bar tops, any project that you can imagine, you wanna get the materials out on the surface so that they don't heat up in the bucket. Once you get them out, you have a very long open working time to create the effects that you see us do on all of our videos. Our working time is second to none. You'll love working with this product, but most of all, your friends won't believe what you created. Visit us anytime at stonecoatcountertops.com. We'll see you on the next video. Or epoxy rocks, Stone Coat Countertops. Hey, visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Call anytime for free project support. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you got this. We'll see you soon.